many, when you were old enough to remember Monty Python, there used to be a sketch called a five minute argument. You said you've had five minutes, no I've not, yes you have. I don't know if you remember that one. <laughs> um, well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell you my entire life story, but I mean, I could do. And, and all the groups I've been involved, with, uh, you can't do it. But I, so, what I'm going to specifically talk about here is this project I'm doing because I ca there isn't enough time to explain the background as such, except that basically about 20, just over 20 years ago, 25 years ago. I lost all my family in one go, more or less. And so I became very unwell and blah, 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 blah. And somebody said something earlier about, you know, oh, yeah, you, you've got an MA, but you, you've got a car. You know, I can't understand. I, I was so ill at the time, the, the job centre said to me, they sent me for a test where I had to put building blocks on the table, and I couldn't do it. They said, you wear once a photography, you've got a degree, but guess what? You're going to work in a factory the rest of your life. You know. And like, that's the kind of attitude, and it still prevails now. Um, so anyway, after a long thing, because I've only got two and a half minutes left or something. Um, I, oh, no, I love that. Can, I'll just sit down and relax a minute then. Um, no, um, I'm very, very fortunate that I do a talk called, uh, really, Art Saved My Life, because it has. It, it's actually sustained me through multiple bereavements and God knows what. But I've been very fortunate with help uh, over the last year to secure major funding from Arts Council England to do this big project for three years, uh, all about isolation. And the, the title of the, of the project is called Own the Lonely? And I'm sure you know the song Roy Orbison or something, but... The idea of the, the thing is to put together these exhibitions of portraits of people, um, recordings of people talking, but then I'm involving musicians doing music, soundscapes, um, all kinds of things poetry. to make poetry. Yeah, poetry. Yeah, definitely poetry. Um, and it's going. I'm making this mini opera, which is going to go with these photographs, with moving images, and there's all kinds of people involved. I've got organisations on board like Mind, I've got uh, Time to Change, I've got all kinds of people involved. But uh, what I want from people is individuals to come forward and, and agree to be recorded or photographed. It doesn't even matter if you don't want your face photographing, it can be something else that you do to combat isolation, well-being, uh, maybe you know positive things that can get out of it, but... Also, like we're talking about today, all the restrictions, the bad stuff that's going on, how does it affect people? How does it make them stay in the home? Does it, does it make you feel really isolated, not being able to engage properly with society because people put you down? There's a load of things, and I, I'm really gabbling now, so I'm talking rubbish. But ten ten, I've got all these leaflets here. I've left some in the other room. It's also on the last end some uh, newsletter. So please get in touch with me. I can travel within reason, uh, uh, different parts of the country as well. I've been working down in Bairn on sea Western Supermare, Worthin, uh, all seaside places, oddly enough, but, you know, Manchester, all over the place. So, you know, within reason, I, I use car, car and a train, whatever. Please get in touch with me. Uh, I'll leave some more leaflets in the room out there and just think about it, or if you know anyone who can do it. And that's all I'm going to say now. I'm going to collapse and eat. Thank, Thank you. you.